All right. All right. Let's get to business. Let's get to business. Stop copying me. Okay. So I'm going to keep this short and simple, but I think we're going to start with fuck three of the UK YouTubers. Yeah, all right. So we're starting like that. That's literally how I want to start it. Put them right above Taylor's face. Right, right above my face. Fuck all three of them. Fuck those guys. We are going to be talking about one in particular today who used my lack of having a father as a roast. Wow. Your dad was abusive. Fuck you and your dad. Found your dad. He that said was, that? Yeah. That was the title of his video. That's fucked up. Hey, size little fucking bitch ass wants to hop in and say there's no lines in this game or bro shut the fuck up there's no lines in this game and there's no lines on his forehead let's go <laughs> we're gonna react to uh this video of gib he titled the video found your dad it has the most views on this channel you're welcome for the views jake paul's son number one everybody true oh that's the that's that's the oh Four eyes right oh, now. Shut the slap. fuck up. KSI, you're fat. Buenos dias, Bryce. You are body shaming the obese. I'm not body shaming. I'm stating facts. You are overweight to be fighting. We are fighting at 165. You look like you're 185. You're fat. He's talking about body shaming. So what is it whenever he called me? What was it? Uh, malnourished? No, it's only body shaming if it's calling someone fat. Oh, but if you call someone scrawny or a twig or... You That's know. not body shaming. Oh. You're making fun of the disabled. Fun of the disabled? Because I said something about the, the glasses. I'm making fun of the disabled because you wear glasses. Makes sense. No, that's disabled as fuck. And you have picked on a man's pregnant wife. I did not pick on Austin's wife. I had a photoshopped photo of my face on Austin's body with his pregnant wife next to me and it said daddy's home. Cat, you're fucking pregnant. Ah, you're pregnant. You're about to have a beautiful kid. I had one too many tequila shots recently. I'm sober. You actually. blacked out last night. I'm blacked out yesterday. I'm sober now. And everything makes sense now. <laughs> Yeah. Let's do everything that no one's ever done in their fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. So this next clip actually is just me having a drunk speech back in September of last year where I used comedy to cope with my lack of having a father. And I said, kill my dad. Kill Bryce's dad. Kill Bryce's dad. But he used that as like, yo, I'm going to use this to roast you. Even though I'm not fighting you, I'm fighting Taylor. That's actually his logic. I don't, I don't know where that was going. <laughs> you're not fighting me, Gib. You're fighting It's him. so funny how like literally every fighter on the card is like not even talking shit to their people that they're fighting. They're talking shit to everybody else. Like D. DDG and his squad was like coming at me and you the whole time. Deji was complimenting Vinny, but wanting to fight me. I, I would love if Bryce was my opponent. Like, no offense to Vinny, of course. Dodging Fousey saying he was scared to fight me and just started talking shit about fighting Fousey. If I was to have an easy fight, Fousey, you're an easy fight. I actually heard uh, insiders actually, they asked for who he wants his next fight to be and guess who it was? A random TikToker. Fousey too. That's who he asked for. But we're the pussies. <laughs> we're the pussies. Oh, because we do TikTok. We're the uh. pussies. First off, this is mainly to the UK fan base because I see it all over my For You page on TikTok, by the way, the platform that you're making fun of us about. You're saying that these three people right here are the goats of boxing. This one right here, Deji, 0-1, lost to Jake Paul. I know I let a lot of you down and I'm sorry. This one right here fights like this. Take your soul to fight early. And then KSI, who talks shit, saying he knocks everybody the fuck out, he's gonna knock so-and-so out, doesn't even have a single knockout. And KSI, I've never seen you knock anyone out. I actually do recall seeing him get dropped, and then his legs being wobbly like a little bitch. Gib is so unorthodox. That's not even a fighter. I don't even know how he got in the ring. It's so shit, but he's looked at like a god. He fucking sucks. Guys, do you not remember he got dropped first round by Jake Paul? His friend was really quick to say something about your chin being on the ropes when literally Gib's chin was on the ropes. Play that clip. KSI only <laughs> Gib, you fucking pussy. And then Deji had some shit to say too. Slap me in my face. All right, this is me and you. Slap me in my face. You're, you're all macho and you know, you talk the shit. Slap Slap me in my face. All right, slap me. Like, so if the cops get involved, I'm gonna play this clip and be like, yo, he, he like begged me to slap him in the face. He was like, please. Please, my views are dropping and I need another clickbait. Slap me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vinny, I'm, I might have to ruin your fight before you even fight. <laughs> <laughs> too much tiny dick syndrome. Way too much. This guy is uh, compensating for something because this guy. <laughs> Eight inches. Do you think I have tiny dick syndrome? Ask his girlfriend. No, I'm kidding. That was that was fucked up. That was. <laughs> the guy thinks that he's a challenge. The guy thinks that he can cool shots. You haven't even won a fight yet, my guy. You haven't won a fight either. You're actually 0 and 1. So if anything, I'm undefeated. 
so I can call the shots. In conclusion, fans, who the fuck are you rooting for? The pretty boy TikTokers or the washed up YouTubers? I'm going for the washed up, I mean, the I'm gonna- Pretty boy TikTokers. Pretty boy TikTokers. Go to the top of the description. Pay-per-view tickets are now on sale. You also can go see the event live in person at the stadium, the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. June 12th is gonna be a movie. And I can't wait to shut every YouTuber the fuck up. All right, let's go. Sorry, it's supposed to be hard. <laughs>